In a previous video, I showed how to make an airsoft machine gun out of a soda bottle that ran directly off of an air compressor. In this video, I'll be showing several modifications to that design. The first modification will be a simplified version of this machine gun that does not require an air compressor to fire. This version will only take two parts to make and cost a total of about $4. The second modification I will be demonstrating in this video will switch out an air compressor for a backpack mounted air supply, flamethrower style. For this first modification, the only two parts that are required are a brake line that fits airsoft pellets and a soda bottle. As was done in the previous video, a hole is drilled through the cap of the soda bottle and the brake line is threaded into it. It is then slid fully toward the inside of the cap and secured with hot glue. Several handfuls of airsoft pellets are poured inside of the bottle and the lid is secured back in place. All that must be done to fire this version of the airsoft machine gun is to squeeze the bottle. It may seem hard to believe that this design would be capable of any power whatsoever, but in each 5 to 10 round burst that comes from a sharp squeeze of the bottle, the pellets can fly upwards of 100 feet with enough force to easily welt bare skin. As with any airsoft gun, safety glasses are required. For this second modification, I will be taking an airsoft machine gun made precisely how it was in my previous video, and attaching it to a backpack mounted air supply. Mounting the air supply in a backpack will provide the rapid fire and power that can be gotten from an air compressor but in a portable form. Outside of the backpack the air tank is a fairly straightforward design. We start with two 3 inch end caps, move on to 18 inches of pressure rated 3 inch PVC and then have two connecting elbows at the top. Through one of the end caps you can see I have attached a blue air hose this is what I am going to use to feed air into the machine gun. The hose is attached to the PVC by means of a threaded hose fitting such as the one you see in my hand. A hole is drilled into the PVC just barely large enough that this fitting will thread into it. The same technique is used to thread this brass fill valve into the PVC as well. This valve is what will be used to recharge the pressure in the tank. I have modified this backpack to accept the air tank by cutting a large hole on either side of the handle at the top. This will allow both sides of the air tank to slide into it. On the bottom of the backpack I have also cut two holes, one for the air line to go to the machine gun and one for the fill valve. Once the modifications to the backpack have been made, the air tank can be inserted. At this point it is time to connect the machine gun to the air hose. Originally, this machine gun used a quarter-inch quick-release air compressor adapter connected to the blowgun. Rather than using this adapter, we are going to connect directly to the airline coming out of the backpack by using this quarter-inch airline fitting. A small amount of Teflon tape on the fitting will allow it to get an airtight seal inside the blowgun. The airline coming from the backpack is now pushed onto the fitting. A hose strap is tightened over it to make sure that the fitting cannot pop out. This backpack modification to the airsoft machine gun is now ready to use. We can take it outside and destroy some targets.